Sega, okay, 1990, Taito Corporation. This obviously comes from the arcade. Uh, Final Blow, this is the Japanese Mega Drive version. And uh, just selecting players, I'm gonna go for King Nang. He's coming up uh, Loft Zero, so I don't know what his thoughts are about who is the best uh, person to be here, but we're gonna go for him. And uh, it'd be interesting to know whether there is a, a best player to run with, so I haven't looked that up on Google, I've just kind of gone for it. I haven't played this game for many years, so I just kind of get into the punches and um, I'm playing this on a Retron 5 so we've got a bit of safe state going on and probably going to use that just to try and get through to becoming champion. Uh, hopefully I don't have to use it too often and I'm just going to try and uh, punch through here as best I can. So taking on here we've got the Detroit Kid, that's um, first knockout. Now you can knock them out in one hit. Um, you can do that sort of roundhouse punch, normally does the trick sometimes. Uh, in fact, you can knock them in one or two, um, but once you've been knocked down three times, it's all over. So now this is the second time, so I've just got to get him once more and he's finished. So it's whether he's going to get up from this point. Let's just have a look. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come on. I don't think he's going to get up. So there you can see he's kind of gone down in two. Um, which is um, pretty quick, instantaneous, but you can get them down in one. Three is victorious. Not really sure about what his eyes are doing there, but um, yeah, he looks pretty happy, and we're into round two now. So this is Dynamite Joe. I don't know, again, let's see kind of what order they put them in. Maybe that does dictate who is better uh, than the other. So he's coming in uh, second, whether it's second best or not. So um, just you know, talking around the actual um, gameplay, you've got obviously the energy bar down the bottom. That's uh, in terms of how many times you've been hit, it goes down dramatically if you get that roundhouse whack, which I'm trying now. Because I think that's the one to really just finish them off with. It's quite a tricky one to get in there though, because you have to kind of get halfway to and there it goes down. So I've used that again. That's pretty effective as you can see. So it's whether he's going to get up from that. Five, six, seven, come on, eight. I mean, I don't think he's going to get up now. So this is. Oh, I nearly got up. Okay, got up. <laughs> um, so just using the kind of lower jab, um, getting some good moves in there. I mean, I'm, I must admit I haven't played this for many years, so there is a bit of button bashing going on here, as you can probably imagine. So he's taking me out. He's only really got a little bit of energy there, but he's managed to just slip in there and crack one right on my head there. So. Hopefully I'm going to get up. Um, so I haven't read the instructions for this, which is probably a bit stupid, but um, I think when you're down, you tap the buttons and it hopefully gets you up quicker. I'm doing that anyway. But he's back down again now. So just got to get him once more. I think that was it. Um, been talking rather than counting here. So I'm just going to try that little kind of roundhouse again. Just probably need to get a bit closer though. I must admit, looking at uh, Kim Nang, he looks pretty muscly. In fact, I don't know whether he flipped them, whether they actually just got the same kind of muscle uh, definitions. So he's down, that's then he's like three down. So that's Dynamite Joe finished there again. Same victorious, odd looking kind of arm up um, victory. So I'm just going to save that there. You saw that little cheeky save. Um, just saves me having to go back to the beginning. I do want to run through. Uh, in one hit, uh, one go. So it's been a few years since I played this. Um, this is a game which was pretty big in the arcades, if you remember it. Um, it was a, a fun game. Probably not as big and popular as Punch Out. I mean, um, that was a real kind of uh, popular classic arcade, and it's a hugely sought after arcade cabinet as well. You don't funnily see many of these. Oh, I mean, he's taken me out twice, so. <laughs> Okay, before I start talking about the arcade, um, let's focus on the actual match. I think I'm probably going to have to start again for a sec because I reckon he's going to take me out here. So um, let's just have a little look. Um, that was my phone going off, so that noise there. Anyway, I'm going to keep him that way. He's had me three down, so there you go. There comes in the reason for doing the save state. So I can just go back to the beginning and hopefully learn from my mistakes and I think that is going to be using that little kind of lower, it's kind of like a lower jab just to keep him away from me. 
think the constant trying to do the roundhouse thing is a bit too uh, kind of difficult to judge. You have to sort of bring it in occasionally, just when you're a little bit closer to him. If you just keep doing it, he's not really going to pull off properly. So, I mean, he's actually got me there, but I'm going to try and come back again, keep going at him rather than going back to the beginning. So, just try and maybe catch him, jab him. I've got to try and get that roundhouse in there. And then, you know, boys, there you go. That worked that time, um, that was a bit of a close call because he was getting in there. It's not necessarily the best uh, strategy just to keep hammering away with that, but you can see the advantage of it, it just knocks him out in one go. In fact, I'm going to keep going at him, um, but he's got me. So, one more and I think I'm down, so let's try and crack through this. I don't want to go back to the beginning again and help it. So I was keeping the jab there, as you can see, um, didn't try the roundhouse punch because it just kind of is too difficult in this sort of pressurized situation but I did use it there you can see how handy that came in um, just floored him I mean he had me first of all came back gave it a, you know a few jabs and then twice knocked down with the roundhouse so this is the fourth match now um, I think I used to fight as Fernando Gomez in the arcade he seemed to be um, quite handy with the old um, jab but to be honest I really don't think there's that much difference between these uh, opponents and um, the guys in the ring. I mean the actual moves are exactly the same. It's not like a, a wrestling thing where we've got a different move to each of them. Um, whether they're faster than the other, again I dispute that. I think it's down to how fast that you're hitting the uh, buttons here. And um, I'm using uh, an original controller, I'm not using the Retron controller, so I am hammering away at these buttons and say, it's been a few years since I've played this game, so I'm relying on just pure speed, frequency, and kind of brute, ignorant strength to try and get through this. So we're very close now, I think one more hit, I'm going to be down, there you go, I can see it coming, and um, he's on a low energy, so I just need to get in there, maybe with some jabs. I'll kind of mix it up with the roundhouse and see what goes. Um, the crowd is very um, basic here. I mean, just talking about that, it's the same old animation over and over. It's quite a nice um, ring of the bell when you get the knockdowns. Especially if you turn it up very loud, it's quite a nice experience. Um, very much fits in with the arcade. Um, so I think overall, as a kind of fun play game, I'm starting to pick this up put it in um, for the first time in a long, long time. Um, picked this game up um, some weeks back, but I haven't actually played it yet. So he's kind of got me down there. Um, now it's a safe state I'm bringing in. I wouldn't normally all do this, but um, just to get through the game, I'm trying to do it, get to the um, becoming champion in about 10 minutes if I can uh, carry on with this. I've just got to keep jabbing away at this guy. I think the roundhouse just doesn't seem to be kind of working with him. Um, and he's really fast. So I think I've just got to keep, I'm really hammering the buttons here. You can probably tell. Um, he's got me, he's got me again, so. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna go back to the beginning because that's gonna just bore the hell out of me and you. So I'm just gonna keep carrying through. Um, I think speed is of the essence if I'm gonna get anywhere close to beating him. Um, so I'm just gonna keep jabbing away, jabbing away. As I say, go back to the um, atmosphere side of it. I think it is uh, a fun, you know, non kind of skillful game. I don't think there's a lot to it. There's only really a few moves involved. But it's quite satisfying, actually. I uh, always felt that with the arcade version, that you know those knockdowns, nice little bell ring, uh, crowd in the background. You know, it's kind of like old school boxing. Uh, it's a bit of fun. The characters are huge on the screen here. I mean, you can probably uh, see it here. The kind of definition and the actual kind of character design is pretty decent. I mean, this is an old game. You've got to imagine 1990. Uh, so it's like 26 years old, older than some people who are probably playing it here. Um, so at the time, especially in the arcade, I remember being quite transfixed by the size of the boxes. They really were big, so it goes down again. I think that's just one more that I need to uh, crack him on the head and finish him off with. And this will take me to what is becoming the champion. I'm not going to carry on because you just keep defending the title. 
um, one after the other. I don't really know how long you keep going. You probably just keep going forever until they get sort of faster and faster and a bit more skillful. But just need one more knockdown, and then this guy Fernando Gomez will be finished. The Kim Man will be in effect the world champion. That's it. Three down, and it's all done, and it's all over. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope to bring you more Let's Play videos soon.